So welcome to Midweek Experiments in Faithfulness. This is a weekly facilitated spiritual practice with a Quaker flavor and an experimental ethos. My name is Jen Higgins Newman and I'm the program manager at Beacon Hill Friends House, a Quaker center for learning in action and a residential community of about 20 people who live according to Quaker values. Tonight, we have computer musicians, Carl Testa of New Haven Friends Meeting and Rachel Devora Rome of Beacon Hill Friends Meeting with sound, space, light. Carl and Rachel will extemporaneously shape a sonic structure to hold listeners, though dispersed in place, together in the light using the open source programming language Super Collider. Rachel and Carl recommend that you get your best pair of headphones so that you can have the most faithful audio experience to the music they're trying to provide tonight. Now, I'm excited to introduce you to Carl Testa and Rachel Devora Rome. Carl Testa is a multi-instrumentalist and composer at the intersection of improvised music, jazz, electronics, experimental music, and new media. As a performer and improviser, he is equally comfortable on string bass, electronics, lighting, and combinations thereof. You can find more information about Carl's work at carltesta.net. Rachel Devora Rome is a sonic artist and feminist technologist. Her work seeks to reveal and reframe habits of auto echo location, situating oneself with slash in sound slash space. She is an assistant professor of electronic production and, and design at the Berklee College of Music. You can find more information about Rachel's work at racheldevora.studio. Again, welcome. We're happy that you've joined us and Carl and Rachel, it's all yours. Thank you so much, Jen, for having us, for inviting us and um, for the thought you've put into organizing this for us tonight. Um, thank you, friends, for joining us uh, to, to listen to us play with these sounds um, and to give space to these sounds. Carl and I actually met on the internet, I, I have to say. So um, this is a little bit fitting that we are doing our first uh, performance together on the internet. Carl and I are about the same age and we went to sort of sister schools, I'd say. Carl on the East Coast and me on the West Coast. And when we were both in those d disparate places. We were both using the programming uh, language Super Collider, which is taught at, at, at Wesleyan, where Carl went to school, and Mills College, where I went to school. Carl reached out to me about a concert that he was putting on at Wesleyan using the programming language Super Collider, or it was it was easiest easy to use Super Collider with the with the concert. So we we are um, friends from the internet who became real life friends and who in that same period of time actually started attending Quaker meeting, you know, independently. So I uh, attend Beacon Hill Friends Meeting. Carl attends at New Haven Friends Meeting. And we are also the parents of young children, which is another commonality between us. So we are going to improvise using the programming language super tonight for you and we are going to show you our code <laughs> as we play you'll see what it is we're using to shape the sounds in general we uh, are both acoustic improvisers also and are sort of coming to this virtual space and um, coming to electronic music also with uh, some experiences dealing with acoustic space and acoustic improvisation. Yeah, that's what I, I have to say. Cara, hand it to you. Yeah, uh, I'll just say that the concert that I originally invited um, Rachel to perform in was for computer controlled pipe organ. So the organ at Wesleyan has a MIDI input computer interface. And so you, you can hook up a computer, give it some code, and then the organ will play by itself. And so we did a whole concert um, of pieces for that setup. And um, the only thing that we wish is that the keys moved automatically, but that's not how it works. <laughs> it, but it, all the sound is, is quite uh, massive. It was particularly thrilling for me when I was um, working on the concert to have the organ play all of the notes at once um, and just experience that sound. 
that wouldn't have been possible for one person to actually perform, um, but just to hear it in that space. And it was probably one of the most terrifying sounds that I've ever heard, but I recommend it. <laughs> and, and also this whole remote performance interface uh, is, is an interesting problem that musicians are facing right now of finding a way to still play together and uh, having uh, a direct experience while being, you know, physically distanced both in space and in time because it takes time for um, the audio to reach, uh, reach us. And one thing that's nice about what we're doing tonight is that because both Rachel and I are using the same software, we send um, the code to a server and it executes on both of our computers at the same time. So we're really ex like experiencing um, that simultaneity in a way that wouldn't normally be possible. And then Rachel is then sharing the audio to Zoom through her computer. Okay, I'm gonna take over now.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank for you for listening. Being with us. <laughs>